Hey guys, it's VNL. Welcome back to Rayman 3. In the last part, we took on the longest shortcut, and I mean, it only took us 15 minutes, but apparently it wasn't good enough. So we're going to come for it for Uncle Andros, or Andre, I guess. Uh, and in a bit of an interesting twist, we've got a kind of unique level where um, we have to basically go over and watch out for these ships shooting us. And you gotta shoot the cannons, and then it blows them up on the side. You don't only have to care about the side, but uh, our health bar right now is actually the ship's health bar. And the interesting thing is that we got all these gems sitting around, but you have to pay attention to the radar on the side, and if you are uh, even more careful, you can even see them coming before they even show up on the radar. That's it, really. All you gotta do is take out a few ships. Nothing too big. I'm not paying attention. He's coming around the back end. You could probably barely see that on your end. I got him. Don't worry. I don't really know what going up here is all about. Dude, I'm doing the best. What are you all about? Here's the thing, if you fail this, you gotta do it all over again. From the beginning. So, pretty much, it's just me failing right now. Actually, I think we're doing alright at an okay pace, but uh... Not a great pace, and definitely I'm not paying attention to my surroundings. You've barely seen any of these ships, have you? Hopefully, I don't completely bite the dust right here. You're definitely going to take hits. It's not like you can do this without taking any hits. There are the guys so close on this end. Come on. Can't they swim deeper? Okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Actually, we're doing okay. We've got, we've got, we're going okay. No, there's a guy on the back end. Oh, is this the last guy? Guy on the side. Oh boy. Maybe there's a finite. Oh, uh, maybe the maybe the boss the number of the spawn, maybe. I don't even know. We did it! <laughs> yeah! This one's a bit of an interesting level, mainly because more gimmicks. You gotta have a snow level and reusing land of the living dead assets. That's okay. I don't mind. I will say, like, we are... We're definitely in the second half of the game and these later levels are a bit longer. But we're also considerably like towards the end of the game as well it's not a long game I, I like i'm thinking my whole run through of this game is probably going to sit at about four or five hours this is very calming music for an avalanche that <laughs> avalanche is a serious business and for some odd reason games are like ah snow it's fine <laughs> I just want to get the red power right behind you. You can do a good combo to push him back a bit. But unfortunately, if he gets too close. This isn't a good combo, is it? Well, what can we do? Jump over him. And lose one point for every time his hand hits you. 
Oh, we can do the rapid fire as well. What am I kidding? Come on, come on. Take it, take it, take it. Take it. Oh, he's not gonna go back. <laughs> I. This is just me being like. Come on, I get, I get the power nice. Roll it. Yeah, kill him. Sweet. I get that, that red lum, you know. I think it's weird that they give you that power and then they give you a whole level with no hoodlums. Not a long level, but. Interesting that's just a bit shorter. I'm flattening. Why do we just not get out of the limelight here? Come on. Of course we've got a climbing the mountain level. This guy's just asking for it, man. Like, come on. There you go. And it gives you a bit of yellow power. Which is enough to get you off a ledge. <laughs> also, you hear that noise? It's the sound of Christmas! Christmas is here! How many, uh, uh, three. Three. Only three teensies in this level. It picks up in the last two levels, but... Yeah, most of the teensies are just in the first two levels. Oh, the... The first few bunch of levels. Yo, man. What will you give me? Why do the teensies give you the hoodlum powers? Like, a little weird. There you go. Easy. Gotta get that. So, yeah. Nice, calm Christmas level. Right? And you got more hoodlums, yeah. This one, this one's a bit of a fester, like, for hoodlums, basically. In fact, you're pretty much just gonna be fighting hoodlums for the rest of the game. I mean, I mean, you've been fighting hoodlums for most of the game. Really? It's just an iron. Anyway, these guys come in. And you can't electric shock them. Also, it's a little weird. It's a bit of a reused boss fight. There's not really anything hugely different about this one, apart from you've got a bit more platform to work with, and they've barely given. They don't really recover. Actually, it's 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 harder to recover your health because they're not giving as many teensies, which means you can't extend your health bar as as much. Kind of stops after those ones, no. I think the overall number is 60. There we go, we did it! Yeah! Give me that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so what, what is happening? What is the happens? Well, good sir. I'm actually thinking I'm probably going to finish this game in this one sitting. Uh, or if anything, uh, one more sitting. Actually, I'll, I'll just leave it as, as uh, Isaac Four Parts in the City. Yeah, I'm going all meta. I'm talking about how often I'm going to record. Even better. Because to the end user, the end the end person. No, oh, I just popped my balloon. There it comes. I mean, to the end viewer. In a while, it'll be like, oh, well, it doesn't really matter. If you're, um... <laughs> I, lo I love this little scene. It's great. You can punch the snowman. He drops all these gems. And then he drops all these gems as well. It's kind of neat. I like it. Oh, you thought the level was done, did ya? Well, guess again. Because it's not yet. You need two hands to climb. There we go. Wait, that was red! 
Now it's just magically become orange. That was a little weird. And then take a hit. Gotta kill the snowmen. Oh. Where are we going? We're going over here, we're killing the snowmen. Hey. Man, I don't know if it's old news by now because this is part 11 and I haven't yet uh, uploaded part 5 yet, so it's probably going to be a bit of a, a bit of a while, but um, oh, this one's going to start a controversy. What is with all these news articles criticizing, well not criticizing, because it's, it's quite un, unjustifiable, but pretty much like blaming Pokemon Go for problems. Now, this video is probably going to be released like a week and a half, maybe even two weeks after I'm recording this. Uh, currently, July the... Uh, I want to say 15th. I'm paying attention. Probably the 16th. That's the 16th. Yeah. Um, uh, but the people are going, and by people, specific journalists, a lot of this is just instances by uh, individuals, and I have to generalize and say journalists, because unfortunately a lot of them are journalists. But not all journalists, and not even not even a lot of journalists, it's just on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, they're just saying like, oh, Pokemon Go is a terrible game because it's, uh, like, if you're disabled you can't play it. And therefore, it sh <laughs> therefore it should be shunned for that. Strange articles that are just saying like the, the most obvious and things that you would be amazed they didn't say about other titles. Like, would you complain that we fit <laughs> can't be played by s some disabled people? Now, if you are disabled, then yeah, it's a little sad. Um, like, uh. It, it's been unfortunate that, yes, there are just some games that you can't play, but there's also some things that that can't do. That's just the facts. That's just, like, sure. But on the other hand, if all video games didn't allow disabled people to play them, then sure, that's a problem. Uh, by the way, you may be wondering, where are we going? I believe this is actually a side area we need to go to, because dude's got a dollar right there. I'm nearly about to get shot in the cutscene, even better. Take out, take out a couple of hoods. A couple of hoods in the hood. Um, yeah. Is it, is it, is it an, a negative thing to just, to just say that, uh, there will be some games that certain people cannot play because of their physical characteristics? Oh my gosh, all the money! Um, we actually got quite a lot of points already, jeez. I guess, I guess the score counts the whole level so far, but like, we're only in the second scene. Da -da -da -da. Uh, so yeah, yeah, pretty much just, uh, and then there's, then there's other things like, Pokemon Go is causing deaths, or things like that. Like, people walked off a cliff because they were playing Pokemon Go. And I have this huge thing where I really hate uh, when people blame the instrument uh, to basically justify... Oh, let's not stand here. Um, people blame the instrument to basically justify, or not justify, but to shift uh, blame in terms of instances. Like, here's the thing. If someone walks off a cliff playing Pokemon Go, it should be the person's fault. It's not like... You don't blame... Uh, what's some other things to blame? You wouldn't blame, say, alcohol for someone being tipsy and then falling off a cliff. Pretty pretty much. Just replace it with, with any other kind of, uh, kind of instrument. That, that causes. Also, yeah, I could catch it. Nice. Uh, I would rather if I got this guy. 
There we go, we did it! We get to fly up, and we get to break TNT number two. Out of three, two out of three. And he gives you the blue power, you go all this way, just to get a bit of blue power. But it's, it, because the, the, the grabby claw lasts a while, you can basically make your way out all the way here. And then climb up here, break the bloom, because I'm a chump. Wasting my time. And then you can use that. To actually get up here. And in particular, get over that ledge. Can you hear someone getting hit? Okay. Um I'm gonna do one more one more scene for this part because I feel like I haven't really shown off a lot of the soul. I know we're sitting at just 15 and a bit minutes, but I feel like a third scene would be good. Oh, this one! I actually don't know if the level ends right after this. I really hope it doesn't. WDW. Hey, give me that doubles. I haven't even got my health up to full. Okay, so I guess all the teensies are required on this level, apparently. Because... Are you kidding me? Kidding me? Just, just flat out like, oh no, you can't break him. There you go. So that's the last teensy of the level. What did he even give? Don't even know. All right. Anyway, if you keep going on, snowboarding. So, Glowbox has been frozen into a pit of ice, and now we've got a sick snowboarding section. The trick is to not hit those at all. That's the trick. Now, you can't really do anything to increase his speed. You can't really do anything other than uh, take some nice shortcuts. I love how it's the same kind of kind of arpeggio white music, and then they just add like a synth underneath in it, and then a drum beat, and it just builds up tons of tons of great energy. Put some reverb fillers. I really love this song. It's probably my favorite one in the game. Also, oh boy, add a bit of bit of hip hop. This counts hip hop. Then you just build it up and bam. Absolutely love this part. By the way, you can hit X in the air to do flips and you get points for the flips. The trick is to completely smack that dude. Um, I believe this is the part. Oh no, it keeps going. Now, it's, I, I'm definitely missing a lot of gems. This is a very hard part to to get a lot of these gems on. All you have to do is just kind of beat Globox down the hill. He slows down at certain parts, and that's enough time to, to completely lose it at the last second. That is enough time to completely lose it at the last second, because this part... This part's actually a little weird, because you've got to ride the inside. And it's definitely not the smoothest thing in the world. This is a run killer right here. Well, we didn't, we didn't win that. Do you know what happens? Ski lift, and then he just slides off in a bit of a silly fashion. So, of course, if you do want to get all the gems, you can just let Globox win like that. Um, and there's not really any penalty apart from you have to go through the whole uh, snowboarding section again. Probably a nice shortcut if you take over the, the right way. Maybe? Doesn't seem like it goes the right way. But don't hit the air vents. That's the trick. You don't lose points to that as well. Ooh. 
Oh, I'm going underneath. Hey. <laughs> so yeah. I I do like this level a lot. This is a nice level. In fact, I don't really think there's a level I absolutely hate apart from uh Dang it. Apart from uh bits of the Bogoma kinda of drag on and there's a bit of the Kanaran, but I feel like that's just distress. Like that's just looking at it and going, oh no, it's a run away from the enemy thing. After playing it though, you know, it wasn't actually too long. You don't get points on the redo, by the way, uh, for, for stunts. You can't get the gems, at least. By the way, what's with the... Uh, not early 2000s, but basically like uh, PS2 era games are moving to the widescreen format, and then games just not centering things. Like, Rayman here is not in the center of the screen. Ooh, ooh. Here we go, half pipe section. Yeah. I got this. I'm going fast. I'm Sanic the Hedgehog. And once you win it, that <laughs> in the most comedic way possible. That was the level. Wow. We Man, dude, I was expecting that to be a bit longer than. It ended up being, I guess. You know? You know? I keep forgetting that some of these levels are just a bit shorter than, than I'm expecting. But, with that, this introduces the next level, which is uh, a loading screen. Oh, no. Nah, but our next level is if the game will... Finish loading. Andy's here someplace, I just know it. We are in the Hoodlum headquarters. I know, it's like, whoa. Nah. <laughs> Dude, when you can't beat the score of, uh, hold on. Uh, 40 zone dumb. Alright. So, anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next part where we will head into the, he the Hoodlum headquarters. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!